Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, class. How are you today? Good? Good, teacher. Excellent. Let me see. Good, good Saturday and good weekend. Good Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, good weekend. Good. So last week we did uh, words in, in past, remember? Let me check. Hi everyone. In this class, you escuchan. Learn to okay. ask yes, and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled "Where Did You Grow Up?" Let's listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, Let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb 
in the present tense. Grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH <laughs> plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so ¿Se acuerdan cómo les puse cómo formar la pregunta en pasado? Remember? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes, teacher. O sea, que es el what, did. when, uh -huh. what did you, where did you, when did you, the verb and the complement. Correct? So is that the verb and the complement, correct? Otra vez se volvió a salir. ¿No? Te doy cinco minutos y te lo puedo dar. ¿Sí? Okay, number one, it says grow up. Grow up, you did wear. What is the correct? Realmente no, no sé si me oyen. Okay, permítame. Thank you. Sí se escucha, teacher, pero la pantalla no sale. No la ven aún. Eh, eh, no. ¿Y hoy? Sí, se ve. Sí, se ve. Ok, entonces dice, number one, grow up is where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? En la negra dos. Okay, live in the year 2000. You know, in the year 2000, old were you? What is the correct question? Um, no sé where, si me oyen. Where, Hello? Where did you okay, grow? Thank you. No. Where did? 
No, la dos estamos. In the year 2000, old how old you? ¿cómo es? Oh, in oh, the year 2000, where? old were you? How old were you in the year 2000? How old were you in the years 2000? 2000. Begin to study English. When did you? What is the correct way? When did you begin to study? Begin. Where did you grow up? When did you begin to go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. When did you begin to study? When did you begin? Teacher, suba la pantalla porque no veo la. No, por eso es que no le quiero dar la respuesta. Ah, ok, ok, ok. <risa> Pero es que no leemos, la, no leemos ni la. No pueden leer la chat. tres. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hoy okay. sí se lee. When did you begin to study? When did you begin to... English. Very good. When did you begin to study English? Very good. When did you begin to study English? You born when were? When were you born? When were you born? Answers, when, when were you born or when were you born, okay? When were you born? Yeah, that's the correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, aquí dice number one. Where were you born? Mm. Where were you born? ¿Qué dice aquí? Where were you born? You were... Excuse me, what? Hiroshima, Japan. Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day of school? It was a little it scary. It was a little scary. It, it was scary. A little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name is Her Jumiko. Name Her, name is Jumiko. Was Jumiko. Her name was Jumiko. What was he or she like? Um, was she really, was really friendly. friendly. She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I went to improve. I want to improve my English. My English. I wanted to improve my English. Good. Let's see the negative contractions, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Okay, so the contractions is I am not is I am not. For example, Diana, are you married? No. Okay, no, I'm not. 
No, I'm not. Good. Uh -huh. I'm is a contraction for I am not. Um, Ana Maria Mendoza, do you drink whiskey? I am not. No, I don't. No, I don't. Good. So no, I don't drink whiskey. I don't is a contraction for I do not. Okay, so so it's just contractions. Let me see the knowledge check. Grow up, you did wear. What is the correct? Where did you grow up? Thank you. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Very good. Eduardo, where did you grow up? Uh, sorry? Where did you grow up? Uh, where? Where did you grow up? Cuando crecí. Where, where, no when. Uh, where. where? I... I were. I oh, grew oh, up. Sorry. I were. I get up in San Salvador. Very good. Uh, Juana, where did you grow up? I. I were. ¿Por qué I where? O sea, que uno dice yo dónde. Um, where, ¿qué es where? ¿Dónde, right? ¿Dónde? Pero, I was... Yo nací en Santana, no sé cómo decir. I, pero no le pregunté dónde nació, le estoy preguntando dónde crecieron. Esa ¿Dónde crecí? Ya, yeah, ajá. Okay. So, I grew up... I grew up Santa Ana. En Santa Ana, oh, ok. ¿Y ahí vive aún? Sí. Yes. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Nací, crecí. <ríe> ¿Cómo es? Sucursal del... Del cielo. Del cielo, capital del mundo. ¿Cómo es? Así es, pero... <ríe> Algo así. <ríe> yeah. Ok, good. I grew up in Santa Ana. I grew up in Los Planes. I grew up in San Miguel. I grew up, I grew up, I grew up. Where did you? Where did you? Okay, number two. In the year 2000, old were you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Where did you go? No, porque voy X por X, ¿verdad? O sea, con esta empezamos, ¿verdad? Sí. Y oh. por eso. Oops. School days. Los días de la escuela. Este vocabulario de escuela, ¿ok? Veamos esto. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary for discussing school. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Classes, history, math, physical education, science, schools, college, elementary, high, junior high, places, classroom, gym, Lunchroom. Playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, I would like for you to categorize the vocabulary into three different sections. Classes, schools, and places. For example, under places you can add classroom. Then, I would like for you to ask and answer questions in the past 
using the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, where did you go to elementary school? What were your favorite subjects in high school? Try to make as many questions. Okay, miren. Hagamos esto. History. Math. Physical education. Science. Schools. College. Elementary. No, it's not mal. Permítame. Okay, look. College D O. Hi. Hi. Junior high. Places. Classroom. Gym. Lunchroom. Playground. Now, I would like for you to do a couple of... Okay, um, pueden ver mi pantalla aquí. Yes. Yes. Okay, high school is del grado 9 al 12. Después de high school, hay dos opciones. O se van a college, o se van a university. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? College es dos o tres años. Prácticamente es college es algo técnico. Okay. Por ejemplo, en Estados Unidos saben que para ser, university para ser dentista es university. Para ser asistente oh. de, de dentista es college. ¿Me entienden? ¿Qué bachillerato? College. No. Bachillerato es high school, del 9 al 12. College es algo superior. Es un Pero técnico. Es un técnico prácticamente. Ya, yes, o sea, eh, universidades son como licenciaturas y todo. Igual acá, similar. Lo único que aquí no hay muchas variedades de técnicos, solo hay como... ¿Dónde se estudian los técnicos aquí? En el ITCA. Sí, Solo el ITCA, ¿verdad? En el ITCA. Y también la universidad de también tiene. ¿Quién tiene? La técnica. Ok. Entonces, en Estados Unidos, la mayoría, la mayoría estudia college. Porque es más barato. University es carísimo. O sea, ser, para estudiar, ser dentista ya, es, tú no estás gastando 50 mil dólares al año. Depende de la universidad. Entonces, por mucho que uno diga, ah, quisiera ser dentista, mejor voy a ser asistente de dentista. Por eso cobran mucho los dentistas allá por y eso. los salvadoreños que vienen a arreglar los dientes acá. Exacto, por eso. Tienen que cobrar su... Lo, lo. Y fíjense que en Estados Unidos eh, es bien yuca porque el gobierno a usted le da, le da, le hace un préstamo de estudiante. Entonces usted viene y prácticamente el gobierno le paga a usted su carrera. Pero cuando usted termina su carrera, sí puede ejercitar como de eso, pero no le termina de dar su título completo hasta que le devuelva el dinero al gobierno. También es otra de las razones por las que cobran caro. Y lastimosamente la mayoría de juventud toman ese dinero y lo último que hacen es estudiar. 
Entonces, eh, muchos optan por college. Imagínense aquí hasta, si uno se pone a ver, hasta con cinco dólares al mes puede ser doctor uno. Porque hay gente en la, en la nacional que pagan cinco dólares, ¿verdad? Hoy es gratis. O oh, gratis, imagino. Obviamente hay requisitos para eso, pero... Entonces, por eso, college no es colegio. Escuela es school. Y colegio es private school. Ok. Nosotros aquí decimos, ah, mi hijo estudia en el colegio, en colegio, y piensan que colegio, como suena college, es lo mismo. Y no. Ok. Ok. So, entonces está high school, college, university. O sea, ¿cuál es el, el estudio más más alto. University. University. Pero créeme que es un orgullo graduarse de college. Excuse me, teacher. Bien de tarde. Buenas noches. Este, Hello. El college es como decir el IRCA aquí. Un tecnológico. Sí. 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 Ok. Y piense de que esto... Eh, le voy a dar un ejemplo mi esposa ella es dentista y la asistente de ellos tiene como 10 o 15 años siendo asistente obviamente ella ha aprendido mucho mucho de hasta ya puede hacer ella las limpiezas obviamente no las hace pero ya se puede todo y está loca la pobre señora de que se va a ir a Estados Unidos porque allá los asistentes de dentistas creo que les pagan 20 dólares la hora o 25. Y le digo a Esther, en un mundo perfecto, que chivo fuera, pero necesita dos cosas. Uno, aprender inglés y dos, estar certificada. No, pero si yo les voy a demostrar que puedo, por mucho, mucho, mucho que usted pueda demostrar, vaya el doctor no le va a dar trabajo si usted no. Va certificado. Y eso, bien, bien estricto en Estados Unidos con eso. En El Salvador no. Aquí, por eso es que hay tantos talleres informales de que cualquiera puede poner su taller y allá no hay que ser certificado. Si usted va a pagar impuestos y su negocio va a ser como taller, tiene que mostrar que es mecánico. Y, y, el, y gana más que los dentistas. Ya, yeah. sí, claro. Claro. El, el hijo de mi mecánico se fue allá. Y pensó eso, igual el asistente de mi esposa, ya no haya como regresarse. ¿Por qué se quedó, Ticha? Sí, porque él se enteró de que los mecánicos ganan súper bien, hasta 40 dólares la hora o 300 dólares por obra. El taller cobra, dependiendo del área, 100 o 150 la hora. Uh -huh. Y depende del trato que haga uno con el taller, es así como uno gana o uno hace por obra. Yo viajo tres meses al año. Y con unos tres meses estoy tranquilo aquí en El Salvador. Oh, ya. Yeah. Bueno, muy buen ejemplo. Este, mi, ami el, el, mi amigo, allá trabaja ilegalmente. Y le pagan lo más mínimo. Y pobrecito, uh -huh. porque es buen mecánico. Él, para mí, él estaba bien acá. Yo no sé por qué se fue, pero ok. La pero es el dólar. Yes. Entonces, eso es el college. Yo... ¿Saben 
¿Saben ahorita qué es lo mejor que pueden hacer en, si van a vivir en Estados Unidos? Ser intérprete. Wow, ahí sí hay dinero. Por ejemplo, tengo un primo que trabaja en Los Ángeles. En, en la fiscalía, creo. Y como nadie habla inglés, la mayoría, todos solicitan un, un intérprete. Y, y lo único que hace mi primo, se pone y le dice lo que le dice la juez. Y él solo está de intérprete. Y cobra 300 dólares la hora o el momento. Y se lo paga el estado o, o la... Depende de la situación. Pero está certificado para eso. Y tiene documentación y está legal. Claro. Es la limitante de muchos. Y tanto que está legal, se certificó para eso. Estudió, echó la voz. Es good business. Ok, entonces that's high school, college, university, school and private school, ok. So let me see what's next here. Ok, vamos a, a ver un video rapidito de la vida de Cristiano Ronaldo. Sus logros y, y lo que él ha dejado, el legado que él ha dejado, ¿ok? El enorme. Uh -huh. Ah, no, I'm sorry, es Ricky Martin. Sorry. Well, it's synonymo. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's lo mismo. Lo mismo. Yes. Um, okay. So. <laughs> let's listen. Let's listen to this. To the video. I'm sorry, Eduardo. Don't worry, don't worry. Y no, pero dejó un buen legado CR7, man. No, sigue, sigue todavía. Sí, o sea, sí, sí. después de él ya se empezaron a ver futbolistas depilándose y sí. sin miedo y <ríe> make-up y todo. So that's good. Después de eso ya hay jugadores que ganan títulos con su selección. Ha ganado con títulos con selección en Portugal. Dos. La Liga de Naciones y la Euro. Portugal. Sí, Portugal, oh. claro. Oh. Tres wow. años antes de Messi. Aquí está Ricky Martin. Do you... I, I like uh, Ricky Martin. I... Two, three, four songs. They're okay. I like La Bomba. Bomba is a good song. I remember I used to dance La Bomba en mis días de discos. My wife loves, bueno, no. Loved Ricky Martin. Era super, super fan of Ricky Martin. And you women, do you like Ricky Martin? No, I don't know. Like. You, you don't like his music? No, much. no. Mm, okay. Do you like Cheyenne? Yes. Bad Bunny? No. No. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Ricky Martin, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning, reading for specific information, and sequencing events. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico on December 24th, 1971. He was always a performer. As a child, he appeared in television commercials and studied singing. At the age of 12, he joined the Latin boy band Menudo. He worked hard with them, and he became very well known. But he left the group after five years. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City 
and got a part on a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterward, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After this success, he moved back to the U.S. Back in the U.S., he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway show Les Miserables. Then he made his first English language album. That album was called Ricky Martin. His biggest hit, Livin' La Vida Loca, was on that album. Now he's famous around the world, but he still works hard, and he still loves singing. As he said to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today, I want to do this forever. Una cosa que le preguntara a Ricky Martin es, o sea, good, es, 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 um, es gay abiertamente y respeto mucho eso porque tuvo mucho valor de, de salirse del closet y fue mucho ejemplo para muchas personas. Pero una cosa que le preguntara, si esos eh, gay abierto, porque siempre le cantaba a mujeres, nunca he notado que ella o ella bella, ella, ella, o sea. Mm -hmm. You know, like cantarle it. hombres, man. Quizás tiene más fans de mujeres. Ah, right. Para mí eso, eso va en contra de lo que representa, pues, porque mm -hmm. si, no, pues, si él dice, no, es que vendo más cantando, entonces no, no estás respetando tus principios. O hacer las canciones sin, sin, es que eso es lo feo de Ingeniero. inglés. Ajá, en inglés tiene que decir él o ella. Mm. All right, so Ricky Martin. A ver, me regreso aquí. Okay. When was Ricky Martin born? Listen, when? On December 2024, 1971. 1971. Where was Ricky Martin born? In San Juan, Puerto, In San Juan, Puerto, Rico. San Juan Puerto Rico. How old was Ricky Martin when he joined the boy band Menudo? He was 20 years old. No, he was 12, not 20. He was 12. 12 years old. Why did Ricky Martin move to Mexico City? Because he was frustrated. 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 He was frustrated. Okay, let's listen to Helen and Mark's conversation and select the best answer. Okay, this is a conversation of Helen and Mark. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. Two. Uh-oh. I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of First and Main. 
Three. Um, so how do we get there from here? Well, we're on second now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up second to Maine. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. Four. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no, not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay. Where are Helen and Mark going? A bank and department store. A bank and a department store. Where is Smith Department Store? On the corner. How do you get there? Walk. Second to right. No, three. Yes. What is Mark going to buy? Yeah, sweated. So, no, three. Remember the instructions? Este lo hicieron, but the department store is? Yes. Next to next to the bank. Pero practiquen algo de ustedes. Por ejemplo, Juana Patricia, I remember in Santa Ana había un bar next to Catedral, Los Arcos, Los Remos. Los Arcones. Los qué? Orcones se llamaba. Los orcones. It still exists? No. Se llama, hoy eh, se llama Shimmerdown. Oh, okay. But I remember next to Catedral, there was a bar. Uh, next to Shimmerdown. Aquí está la parte de Shimmerdown. Oh, eh, la de Don Juan. Also, la despensa de, de Don Juan is next to Summertown. Okay, Eduardo, where is Blue Moon? Blue Moon is... Usando next to... Oh, okay. Across, between... Um, oh. next, next to the pharmacy, San Nicolás. Okay. In, in Escalón. In the, around, in the Escalón, around Fuentes Beethoven. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Blue Moon. Blue Moon. It's the new hard rock in the in the, my country. Hard rock. Very cool. Es el concepto que queremos dar. Hard rock. Un bebedero. Algo como hard rock. Como lo que es hard rock. Okay. Y van a tener como cosas okay. así como autógrafo o algo. Va a haber de todo. De hecho, tenemos un corte de carne que va con láminas de oro. Wow. Sabes, a mí siempre, te, a, y si me quieres robar la idea, está muy bien. Pero siempre que he querido poner, no, no, no he querido poner, pero si pudiera un bar, me gustaría ponerle un bar que se llame Entas. Ya, yeah, 70, 80, 90, la mejor era en música. Y cada hora, o sea, una hora solo 70, solo 80, solo 90. Que se llame los 80. Teacher, 
Do you yeah, remember I Liverpool, Bar? Liverpool, oh, ahí vivía. <laughs> ahí vivía. Ahí vivía. Vilma uh, Palma Vampiros. Mm. Ahí tocaron, ya, yeah, en Liverpool. ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde quedaba? Ya estamos viejos. Oh, no, yes. nosotros no, Santa Elena. Era. El Constitución también. Ahí The nació la idea. Ahí, ahí fue el primero, ya. Yeah. Ok, number two says Al's Coffee Shop is. Oh, so from across from. Uh, pero entienden que es across from, ¿verdad? Yes? Enfrente de. Enfrente de. Ajá, o, o sea, enfrente de, o al cruzar enfrente de. Eso más bien dicho, yo diría así, cruzar enfrente de. Cruzar. Across from. María's no restaurant no is. On the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Yes. Were your parents born in the U.S.? No, they weren't, ¿verdad? ¿Nacieron ellos en Estados Unidos? No, they weren't. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first English teacher? My first English teacher was Mr. Sato. Mr. Sato, good. When did you come to New York? I came to New York in 298. 1998. How was your, yes, how was your first day in the U.S.? It was a little scary. All right. Match the verbs. Had. A picnic. We tuvimos some picnic. We had a picnic. Played. Tennis. Tennis. Okay, miren. Play es un verbo bien raro porque es tocar, pero también realmente es tocar un instrumento o jugar un deporte. Because you play guitar, you play the piano. Okay? Yes. Number three, took. Corals. Number four, went. Swimming. 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 Number five, saw. A play. Select the correct forms of the verb and complete the sentences. Blank, blanco, blank, a good weekend. Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Not really. Did I. Did not really. I studied. I studied all weekend. Anything last weekend? Did they do anything last weekend? Yes, they went hiking. Anything at the mall? It's cheap. No, she went shopping, but she didn't. Mm. Yes, she did. Vamos a ver cuánto nos falta porque me gustaría darles clases a mi manera, pero necesito terminar todo esto. Is the last? 
Esa es la última, right? Okay, look. Home alone. ¿Qué es home alone? Solo casa. Okay, Jerry Carson, 16. Had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt. But he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to do laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he That's had a place thing. to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone. His father said his father. We came home right away. We're just happy he is all right. Mi mamá me era dado una gran cachimbeada. ¿Quién entendió esa historia? Ok, es eh, bien difícil, no sé si me oyen, no sé si hablo solo o están viendo otra cosa, pero eh, con esta clase siempre me tocó decir, porque tengo 19 personas ahorita y nadie me contesta, entonces a veces no sé si les debo de, I don't know, no, no sé, porque a veces quiero hacer algo, pero le hago una pregunta y se quedan callados. Entonces hagamos las respuestas. Why did Jerry go to the basement? To, to do, do the laundry. laundry. Where did Jerry sleep? Jerry sleep on the floor. On the floor. He, he slept on the floor. Good. Why did Jerry's uh, uh, parents return home Sunday morning? Because Jerry didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Yes. Good. We finished. Ok, miren, mañana ya terminamos todo, ¿verdad? Sí, mañana, ya estoy lleno. hoy les quiero decir algo de mi opinión personal. Yo sé que es mucho lo que hemos visto y cada día es un tema diferente y, y seguir avanzando y avanzando y avanzando. A veces la cuestión no es tanto avanzar, sino que entender. Uh -huh. Yes, pero tengo que seguir el... Entonces mañana vamos a hacer una cosa. Yo les voy a dar mi forma de darles clases. Y vamos a hacer dos tiempos. Futuro y pasado. Hacer preguntas futuro y pasado. Futuro y pasado. ¿Ya? Yes. Porque okay. quiero que aprendan bien cómo hacer la pregunta. en Futuro y en pasado. Futuro y en pasado. Y vamos a tener un, una, un listado de verbos. ¿Ok? Ok. Y van a ver, y hoy vamos a hacer separar esos grupitos así. Y hoy que okay. faltan como 10, ah oh, no, como 7 faltan. Pero si estamos todos en, en sincronizados mañana va a ser mucho más fácil. ¿Y solo esta semana y la otra queda? ¿O esta semana? No, mañana ya es el último día para la, la verdad. Hoy oh, ya se terminó. Mañana es el último día. Yes. Uh -huh. No llegamos hasta el jueves. No, no, ya, ya mañana la clase 16. Es que se acuerdan que empezamos un miércoles. Rápido. Ya. Yeah. Pero ya van a ver que mañana vamos a aprender. En un día vamos a aprender todo de lo que hicimos en un mes, les prometo. El miércoles okay. no hay clases, entonces. ¿Ah? Miércoles no hay clases. No, no. 
Está ahí hay otro módulo. Sí, ya, eh, les, voy a, les voy a reenviar el, el, el... No sé quién, si alguien me tiene en, en audio también, porque me voy, me, me escucho en él. O sea, si alguien me tiene en celular y en compu al mismo tiempo, pero se oye el... Eco. La retroalimentación. El el Exacto. Thank you. El, el feedback. El... Feedback. Uh -huh. <ríe> eh, le voy a reenviar el, 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 el link para la, para la siguiente... Para el siguiente módulo. Está en WhatsApp también. Lo único que a veces yo no puedo leer el WhatsApp como estoy en el trabajo. Y a veces cuando salgo, veo hasta 60 mensajes. Yo, wow. ¿De dónde empiezo? <ríe> Pero yo sé que ahí debe de haber, el, el, ahí está, si no yo se lo reenvío, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, entonces nos vemos mañana, procuren estar eh, ahí, ya vamos a, a aprender con todo, ¿ok? Yo mandé algo al grupo, yo mandé algo al grupo, si alguien me puede ayudar, que me eche la mano, por favor. Ok. Ah, ok, ya vamos a revisar. Una pregunta. Okay. Okay. Dígame. ¿Los verbos pueden estar conjugados en presente o este, en pasado y en futuro? Que son los que vamos a ver. Mañana. Sí. En, en presente y en pasado. Ok. Ok. Futuro y pasado, había dicho. Yes. I'm going to. Uh, ok. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.